Hello friends, this video on control and coordination part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction What is control and coordination? Coordination in human beings wherein we'll talk about the chemical coordination that is the endocrine system and the nervous system which would include discussion on brain, spinal cord and nerves. We will also talk about the coordination in plants wherein we will discuss about the plant hormones. So what do you think are we going to talk about in this lesson of control and coordination? So in our previous lesson we talked about the different life processes, right? So gradually as we are going ahead with our lessons in biology starting from class 9th, first we started with studying cell that is the fundamental unit of each and every life form. Then we talked about tissues wherein we talked about the combination of cells, cells getting grouped together to form tissues. So we talked about the different types of tissues which are found inside the body of living organisms. Then in our previous lesson, we talked about the different life processes wherein we talked about the different organ systems of the body like the digestive system, the respiratory system. We also talked about the excretory system. So we spoke about those processes which keep happening inside our body. So here in this lesson, we are going to talk about control and coordination. So you might be wondering, which control and coordination inside our body are we talking about? So let us think of some of uh, the things which actually happen in our life. For example, all of us see a small child growing up, right? First, the child is extremely small when it is in uh, its mother's womb. Then the mother gives birth to the child and the small child gradually grows up to a young man and again the young man grows up and becomes older and turns into an old man right so what is this growth all about i mean what is there inside our body which tells us that we need to grow i mean a small child if you look at the fingers of a small child they are, they have got so tiny fingers right but as they grow up with years their fingers start growing their, their height grows up, right? So those changes which take place inside every living organism, how does these change happen? Who asks an organism that, okay, it's time to grow now, so start growing. So what is that factor? What is that thing which is happening inside each and every living organism which is making them grow? So growth is something which we experience each and every day but here in this lesson, we will see that how all these things actually happen inside. Have you ever seen somebody getting an electric shock or have you ever felt an electric shock? As soon as you get an electric shock, what do you do? Do you keep, keep on standing there, putting your hand on the same position? No, right? As soon as you get the shock, you jump off. You just move away from that point. So as you see in this picture, this man literally is jumping up his chair after he gets a shock. So what is there inside our body which actually tells us that, okay, it's time to jump. So jump. So who is giving those instructions inside our body? There has to be something inside, right? Which, which actually decides what we have to do, which actually tells us whether we need to sit, whether we need to stand, whether we need to eat, whether we need to move. So something, something is going on inside our body. So what is that something that we will talk about in this lesson of control and coordination? So not only these examples, there are hell out, there can be hell lot of examples. In fact, whatever we do right now, I'm teaching you who is telling me that what I have to speak, who is actually telling me inside the body whether I have to speak or I have to be quiet, right? So everything which we do. There is something going on inside our body, some set of instructions being always given to each and every cell of our body to do the required actions. Think of such examples. Let us suppose this guy is standing and suddenly he sees a tiger approaching him. What do you think will he do? He'll definitely start running, right? So who tells him that it's time to run? 
So that's the thing which we will talk about here. The beating of our heart. Our heart beats continuously. If it stops beating, we all know what's going to happen, right? So what is it who is actually making the heart beat all the time? You would have experienced such scenarios. Let us suppose by mistake your hand or your foot gets into near the fire. What happens? You feel extremely hot and sometimes it might also get burnt so you immediately move it back. Right? So there also you feel the pain and then you take back your food. Sometimes while eating something, something stuck in your throat and you suddenly start coughing so much. So see in all these scenarios what do you see? When something happens under certain situations we respond in different ways. In different scenarios we respond in different ways. So how that response comes from inside our body? So that is the question. What is happening inside our body or who is actually deciding inside our body that what needs to be done? Similarly, when we see something very delicious and we are hungry, our mouth starts watering. It is something which you would have observed for yourself, right? Sometimes when you want to eat something or something which is your favorite dish, maybe you like ice cream a lot. So when you see a scoop of ice cream in front of you, your mouth suddenly starts watering. So from where does that water come? How does your mouth know that you are seeing something which you really like or which is your favorite dish? So basically in this lesson we are going to talk about what actually coordinates everything inside our body. So by now we know that not only human beings, I am talking about all animals, we all know that all the multicellular animals which we have, they are all made up of several cells and not each of them perform the same function. Each and every cell has a specific function. Right? For example, the cells which form the digestive system, they have got a different role. Similarly, the cells which are a part of excretory system, they have got a different role. So each cell in our body has been assigned a specific task. Now control and coordination says that the function which each of the cells are performing, all their functions should get coordinated. They should be in sync, sync with each other so that the entire body can perform the function correctly. For example, when I talk about the word coordination, I think understanding the term coordination will be easy when I talk of this example. I'm sure many of you would have uh, attended annual programs in your school or some cultural events in your school, right? So there you would have seen some uh, dance forms which is shown on the stage people perform dance and group dances when many people dance together so which appeals you more when all of them dance together in the same way or when somebody is jumping somebody is dancing somebody is sitting so that will appeal you the more so when it is when the dance is performed in a coordinated way that means each of them is uh, are doing things in such a way that they are synchronized together so when they do it in that way only then you like the entire performance, right? So here you can see a picture which shows that all of them are dancing with their hands up. Since all of them are doing the same thing in the same way, they generally wear the same kind of dress to maintain the consistency. So when you see that synchronized performance, you actually like it. That actually appeals you, right? So similarly, our body will also function properly when each and every part, each and every organ of the body will do their own job as well as they will do their own tasks being synchronized with the other parts, right? So what is control and coordination? It is the synchronization between the different organs of the body so that they can work together in harmony to perform the vital activities of life. So synchronization is the key term here. So when I talk of control and coordination, I'm talking about the synchronization between the different organs so that they not only perform their own function, they have to perform their own function, but at the same time, they have to synchronize their timing with respect to the other organs of the body so that the overall output is beneficial for the entire organism. So now we will talk about some examples. Let us suppose, I'm sure many of you would have played football or any other match in your school. So when this boy kicks the football, so what all 
what are the things that he actually does? Let us suppose if he closes his eye, will he be able to play football properly? No, right? Because he will not be able to see where the ball is. So now his eyes are actually seeing the position of the ball, that where the ball is, right? But it is his muscles, that is the muscles of his legs, which is actually helping to kick the football. So that means your his eyes are seeing where the football is, but the muscles of his legs know where the football is. So that is why it is kicking at the right place. So that means the information which is detected by his eyes is reaching the muscles of his legs. Right? Are you getting my point? It is his eyes which is actually seeing where it is. But it is the muscles of his legs who is actually kicking it. That means the muscles of his legs is actually doing the job. But who, will, who actually is seeing where the football is? It is the eyes. So that means this information which the eyes have. The eyes have the position of the football. So this information is getting transferred from the eyes to these muscles. Now how is this getting transferred? That is what we will study here. How the information transfer takes place inside the body. Okay, so that is one part. The other part is... Now let us suppose that information reaches your muscles, but who tells that you have to kick the football? I mean, there are many things that he can do. He can take the football in his hand. He can kick the football with his foot. He can do nothing, just stare at the football. So who, which organ inside our body actually tells us what needs to be done? So who is the deciding organ inside our body? So these are some of the things which we will talk about in this lesson. So here you can see that there is, there has to be synchronization between the different organs. So there has to be synchronization between his eyes and his legs. I mean, if let us suppose before his eyes could see the ball, if the muscles of his legs starts kicking, will they be able to kick the football? No, because the football is nowhere there. Because had the football been there, he would have been able to see the football. Right? So everything has to happen in a synchronized way. So the eyes are doing their own job, that is they are seeing the football. The muscles are doing their own job, that is they are kicking the football. But both the things should happen at the right time. They should happen in a synchronized way. So similarly, if you look at the example of getting an electric shock, so as soon as you get an electric shock, you suddenly jump off. Right? You don't even take a lot of time to think what happened and what not. You immediately give an action. So here also, when you are jumping, it is actually the muscles of your body whose contraction and relaxation is actually helping you to move. So this movement of the muscles is again brought, I mean, who actually tells the muscles to do this? And how is the information communicated to the muscles that you have actually got an electric shock, right? So in this lesson, we will talk about how the different organs of the body coordinates with each other so that they together can perform the important activities which are needed for sustenance of life, right? So I hope that I have been able to make you understand what is control and coordination and what are we going to study about in this lesson. Okay, so with this brief introduction, thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.